good morning students in previous lecture i explain about the different models of development and uh, also we started the criticism of development and in today's lecture i will continue that next logic for the criticism is environment cost of development the continuous use and depletion of natural resources like land water and forests led to air and water pollution soil erosion and landslides and also global warming so some thinkers give their uh, point of view uh, for the development models these development models sometimes ignore the uh, natural scenario of different uh, natural aspects and the development in the cost of depletion of all these resources is too much harmful for the human being so now human being uh, is feeling uh, they are developing by using these resources but in the later stage when they will face the side effect or harmful effects of these uh, reasons they will be sufferer and they on that time the development uh, will be not in a real manner so environment cost of development should be uh, minimized students you are looking on your screen the ken saro viva and an agoni by birth he belong agoni place was recognized as an author journalist and television producer in the 80s 1980s in his work he observed and reacted to the exploitation around him as the oil and gas industry took riches from beneath the feet of the poor agoni farmers and in return left the land polluted and the people disenfranchised so uh, you can uh, read the whole concept of kensaro viva and you must think the points which were discussed or given by him and now we will continue the criticism of development assessing development surely we cannot call a halt to growth and the development related activities because of sophistication of machines the goods could be produced in immensely large quantities this reduced the price of most commodities many goods or services which were not within the reach of common person are now being enjoyed by the millions people may now live a life of ease comfort and luxury improved means of communication and transport brought countries and people close together globalization resulted in free flow of capital goods and services among different countries we must give the emphasis on assessing development uh, which uh, will be reduce the depletion of our natural resources in a some time in a one manner i hope all the points are clear to you if you face any problem you can ask thank you and have a nice day